Now, another bad argument by Holloway is the claim that Justin Martyr is correct in stating that the events of Matthew 24, verse 5, verse 11, and verse 24 are occurring in Martyr's lifetime, who lived well after the events of Matthew 24 were fulfilled. Now, how can uh, false Christ be arising to lead people in the Judean desert or after them into the rooms of the temple? These instructions are given to people living in the end of the age of Moses, when the temple was yet standing. So how can they apply to martyr? How can they be occurring in martyr's present time, which he clearly states in his writings? Martyr's witness is marred by this claim, just as Irenaeus' witness is marred by his claim that Jesus lived to be 50 years old. Now, I'm not saying they're wrong on everything they said, but on these that refer to the subject matter at hand, they were clearly wrong. Uh, Martyr is using a prophecy related to the fall of the temple for people he regards as false teachers. That would be the same as if Holloway would say false teachers will arise today to lead people into the desert surrounding the fall of the temple in Jerusalem. There may be false teachers, but it will have nothing to do with the temple or the prophecy of Christ, which Holloway says was fulfilled in 70 AD. Will there be another destruction of the temple from which people must flee? If it could be true from Justin Martyr, why can't it be true for someone living today? Will the city be rebuilt and destroyed again? Well, you know, some futurists think so, and they teach that very erroneous doctrine. Uh, the real problem of Holloway's claim is that Jesus has forever shut him and Justin Martyr down. When the Lord spoke concerning the prophecy in Matthew 24, as I've already alluded, he cites the prophet Daniel, particularly chapter 12 and verse 1, per Matthew 24, 21. He says, at no other time in history would such an event occur. Holloway says it can be repeated over and over again with this continuous prophecy and reoccurring prophecy paradigm that he cites from time to time. Jesus said the prophecy could not and would not. He said, no, nor ever shall be. And that should settle the matter. Here again, Holloway chooses words of Justin Martyr over those of Christ, even when they clearly contradict a plain text of scripture. Now note also that Jesus speaks of the passing of heaven and earth in verse 3 verse 29 and verse 35. In other words, the end of the age, the sun, moon, and stars turning to darkness and falling and shaking and powers of the heaven shaking, etc. And also verse 35, heaven and earth shall pass away. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 25 through 27 says that this heaven and earth was already being shaken, but that it would only be shaken yet once more. That's a quote from Haggai chapter two, verses six through eight. He says, as of things that were made. These things were already being shaken and they were being removed so that what could not be shaken and removed would remain. Fulfilling Haggai's prophecy. Now what remained is the unshakable kingdom just as Daniel 2 44 and 45 tells us. Now we've already seen where Holloway has to have an end of the age and at the cross he's got another one in 70 AD. He's going to have another one with the end of the present Christian age and yet there was the writer in Hebrews which he believes was Paul, saying that heaven and earth was being shaken yet once more, already being shaken yet once more, meaning never again would heaven and earth be shaken. Because the one that could be shaken, everything that could be shaken was going to be removed, and it was already in the process of being shaken at that time. So I don't know how he's going to find enough shake to shake the present world that cannot be shaken.